Hey friends, welcome back. We are very briefly going to go over this single page document. I'm invoking the rights of fair use to discuss this with you. This hails from the El Paso Herald Post, Wednesday, May 16th, 1973. This appears to be a map. Um, it says from 1976 to 2001. So this is the 25 year projection forward and the expectations of the civil defense plan and the ease or ability to evacuate people or redirect people to live in specific targeted areas. So let's go over this really quickly and then I'll explain all of this. It will all make sense, okay? And it's very difficult to read, so I apologize. Um, I will do my best. The United States will be a country of huge population concentrations uh, separated by vast stretches of thinly populated territory by the turn of the new century. Projections prepared for the President's Commission po on Population Growth in the American Future show three major urban regions containing more than half of all Americans. The largest of the municipalities uh, will be the Metropolitan Belt extending from Illinois and Wisconsin eastward to Maine and Virginia. This will be home for more than 40% of the population. Another large percentage will live in California's urban region and nearly 5% in the Florida Peninsula urban region. In addition to these massive concentrations, great numbers of Americans will have uh, numerous smaller urban areas. So the largest projected urban areas, yes, I made a copy for you to look at while I read off of the original here. So it says urban regions with 10 million population or more, the metropolitan belt, California and the Florida peninsula, and then one to 10 million, they expect all of these places. So the Gulf coast, East central Texas, Texas, Puget Sound, Colorado, Alabama, Nashville, um, Las Vegas, so on and so forth. And can see all of these regions and this is where all of these dark concentrations of population come into play so you can see though let's take a look all up in here it says you will be moved and your land will be taken so look at this all of this northern california oregon idaho basically the pacific northwest okay this is all the yellowstone region right in here and then all of this region here. So this is an, a projection. This is something that was estimated, but not there was no contingency plan to set it forward. So it says, uh, can you imagine a better way to convince citizens to desert their homes, becoming the victim of stampeding masses, fleeing the cities under the threat of nuclear attack? Well, our leaders will negotiate with the enemy. And those are all in quotes, quote unquote, leaders, quote unquote, negotiate and quote unquote, enemy. Note the emphasis on population relocation. Can anyone think of an easier way to create a crisis sufficient to declare martial law? Isn't it thoughtful of the Soviets to give our leaders a two to three day warning before a sneak attack? Or was it planned that way? Can you think of a better way to create the conditions for the planned population relocation, overthrow the constitutional republic, and establish their long-planned police state of the world? Uh, if you can, please inform our leaders as this is the best they could dream up so far. So from the Chicago Tribune, July 16, 1975, they report the, the evacuation back in civil defense plan. Uh, clear out cities while governments negotiate by Robert Young. Far more sophisticated in Davis's words is the development of Mark II contingency plans for taking care of the evacuees in the host area, including fallout shelter protection, radiological monitoring, and setting up of medical police fire and welfare, welfare services. Also involved in Mark II are detailed blueprints for maintaining and securing the evacuated areas. Although the general population would be gone, essential personnel and administration administrators would have to remain behind to provide fire protection, keep utilities and food processing plants running, and perhaps continue essential procuration to meet national needs. Okay, and then the next small excerpt. This is what they were talking about for two to three days. This is from the Washington Star Press, Tuesday, April 16th, 1974. And it says, 
They are based on Schlesinger's belief that the United States might have two to three days warning of a nuclear attack um, as the crisis built up and thus could evacuate target areas in a reasonably orderly way. So that's kind of fun, huh? A fun little document to get a blast from the past. Um, okay, that's it for this one. And this may or may not have been a contingency plan gone wrong because it's well beyond 2001 and there's a huge concentration of population. This is my region here and there are a lot of places up in here where there are no motorized vehicles allowed, but uh, so far people are still allowed in these areas. But all right. Thanks for joining me. Just Christina signing out.